Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Uh, let's see. I am going to be trying something new tonight. Uh, I downloaded this demo. They announced it during uh, Nintendo Direct. And a friend of mine played it who liked... I, I get, it's the same company that made Octopath Traveler. If you tried Octopath Traveler, it was a... Uh, they call it a 2D, 3D game. So it's like um, 2D sprites, but in a 3D world. And we really liked Octopath Traveler. So he tried this out. And he's like, I didn't really like it. To me, it seemed too, too, too like strategy. So I said, like Final Fantasy Tactics. And he said, yes. And he doesn't like Final Fantasy he, he never liked Final Fantasy Tactics. I do. So I'm going to be giving it a try tonight on stream to see what I think of it. So let's take a look at what is called right now Project Triangle Strategy. That's its like uh, working name. Now, I'm assuming I'm allowed to stream this because I didn't see anything saying, hey, this is, uh, you know, NDAs or anything like that. I, I saw nothing of the sort. So we're just going to assume that it's cool to stream. So let's get into it and find out what it what it's like. Uh, what's the options like? Let's see. Camera settings. We definitely got to invert the vertical because I'm one of those kind of people. Um, we'll turn the voice up a little bit and the sound up. And we'll turn the music down just a touch. Cause I like, I like music in games, but I like it to be background music. I don't like it overriding the sound effects and everything else. And I am playing this on the Switch, so that's what it's available for right now. Uh, this demo is available in the in Nintendo Store, so you can download it whenever you want to try it. The game, I don't think, I don't think the game itself comes out until next year sometime. Special pre-release version comprising chapters excerpted from the middle of the game. As you'll be joining the story in progress, you may find it difficult to fully grasp the events happening around you encourage you to enjoy the atmosphere of the game world oh no see they did this same exact thing uh for the bravely default uh bravely default 2 demo the battles have been ramped up in difficulty somewhat to allow you to fully experience the depth of the combat system which means we made this hard as hell to beat your face in to make the demo last as long as possible <laughs> that's just the way i read that so we'll see. We'll see if that's what it actually is or not. But that's the way that the uh, the Octopath Trout or not Octopath, the Bravely Default Two demo. That's what it was like. It was hard. Three mighty powers reigned. Okay. Oh, I gotta hit a button to make Kingdom it go. Of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, okay. bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers okay. <laughs> rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt, is central to life. Interesting. A desert salt. So it's like Salt Lake City. <laughs> they just can't call it Salt Lake City. With each nation controlling one vital resource. Conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Salt Iron War. In what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. It's a cool name for a war. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise. The three powers at last negotiated a truce. Peace came to Norzelia. I like the art style so far. Really cool. Shortly after assuming power in Esfrost, Archduke Gustadolf launched a surprise invasion of the neighboring kingdom of Glenbrook. The might of the Esfrostian forces. I can't get over it. Every time I hear that, it's like Asfrost. <laughs> 
Before any could comprehend the meaning of what was happening, the once proud Whiteholm Castle had fallen. Learning of the attack, House Wolforth, highest of the three high houses of Glenbrook, rushes to the royal family's aid. Leading the charge is mm. none other than young Sarah Noah, who has only just taken over the mantle of lordship from his father. It, it so far seems like a very convoluted storyline, so in that in that aspect, it's it's very Final Fantasy Tactics like it. <laughs> At his side are Benedict, House Wolford's advisor and a veteran of the Salt Iron. Oh wow, he reminds me. The younger prince um, of and Sarah Noah's child. Anyone who watches Critical Role or does anything with Critical Role, the guy on the right reminds me of um, Talison's character from the first campaign. Yeah, it looks just like it looks like. Just other with other than the little like glasses that come off to give him like his his like four lensed glasses it looks he looks like really like it <laughs> really close. A new war is kindling, fanned by the unwavering Percy. convictions held it's just by like the Percy. rulers of these lands. And though they may not yet know it, Serenoa and his comrades are heading straight into the pyre. Okay. I don't know how much actual gameplay the game is going to have, but let's see. Have breached the once proud walls of Whiteholm and now overrun its majestic halls, leaving only death and destruction in their wake. Oh, and this is, by the way, this is completely blind. I have not read or watched anything about this game. Just, just that, just my friend who played it and said, "I don't like it because it's too, it's." I don't like he doesn't like RTS games, so I'm like I don't like RTS either, but I like Final Fantasy Tactics. And he was like, Well that's what it's like. It's like Final Fantasy Tactics and I don't like it. So then I'm like, Whoa, if it's like Final Fantasy Tactics, I'll try it. I like that. <laughs> like bloodthirsty I don't like RTS, but I do like Final Fantasy, Fantasy Tactics. Carry out Archduke Gustadolf's orders to kill any member of the royal family on site. With the very future of the kingdom hanging in the balance. Serenoa hurries to the throne room as fast as his legs can carry him. Okay. Chapter. Oh, so it's chapter six. So they are bringing you in like deep into the game for the demo. I also have no idea how long this demo is. Oh, okay, I like the art style a lot. Do they mean to hurt us? It does remind me a lot of Final Fantasy Tactics. Just, just this one screen. They will do no such thing, my princess. Not so long as I draw breath. Cease the vein. You are Oops. all that <laughs> remains. Don't want to do that. Dawn Spear can hope to triumph against such odds. You talk and talk, but do you have the courage to test your words? This is folly, Gustadolf. Who's the dolph? Madness has possessed you. Is this how you would take revenge for what befell your father? Nothing so petty as that, Ragnar. War <laughs> and all its atrocities should remain buried in the past. Mm -hmm. Then what drives you to commit new ones? To tear down the future we labored so long to achieve. The uh, the voice acting so far for some of these guys seems a little over the top. Think Hyzant will stand idly by while him especially burns? I shudder to think what ends you hope to achieve by such vile means. The king's voice actor is pretty good. I like the king's. You always did lack imagination. However, not even I foresaw the opportunity this foolish partnership would afford me. Gustadolf's not bad either. As for Hyzant, but the uh, the prince is just the he seems like really like oh I'm an anime guy. <laughs> Roland? Brother? You imbecile! <laughs> Why do you return? <laughs> Be grateful to see me for once. I wasn't about to leave you to these wolves. You stone-headed brat! 
<laughs> yeah, in my the prince. Wow. And her newly betrothed. And you've got friends. Stand down at once. On the honor of House Walford, we shall not let the royal family come to harm. So you're the young wet. You have courage, if not much sense. I'll give you that. Brother, what is the meaning of this? I am sorry for forcing this unpleasant scene upon you, Frederica. I had to take action. Action? What do you... Listen well. I, Gustadolf Esfrost, do hereby condemn the king... Gustadolf Esfrost. ...agents for their treacherous deeds. Scheming to claim the riches of the Grand Norzellian Mines their own, they slaughtered my dear cousin Dragan in cold blood. For this most heinous crime, and for shattering the trust between our nations out of malice, I declare their punishment must be swift and final. So this is the lie you heed. Mm. What mummery is this? <laughs> what Trend mummery is this? By... Silence, my lord. Benedict? I commend you for delivering the traitorous Prince Roland to me. He, too, must answer for his crimes. Hand him over. And House Wolfort may yet see itself through this unscathed. You are my dear sister's husband to be. Bend the knee, and no harm shall befall you. I will A lot of dialogue. We won't be parted. Tactic tactics was like that too, though. Your father was ever a thorn in my side. As far as I can remember, it has been a long time since I played Final Fantasy Tactics. However, I fear you will not live long enough to accomplish. General of Laura, kill them all. <laughs> He's just all like, yeah, go ahead, kill them all. Yes, my lord. That's a big sword. Are they all like, Stop. it looks like she's floating. Oh, I see her feet. She's just like bobbing up and down. It looks like they're all floating on the ground. But I can see her, I can see her feet now underneath of her. <laughs> oh, bye-bye, Prince. Brother! Oh, and then the blood puddle. Wow. That looks really good. Actually, <laughs> the blood puddle is like shimmering like an actual liquid. That's amazing. Sir Maxwell, leave me. Take Roland to safety. <sighs> yes, my lord. Whoa, did that dude just teleport across the room? Maybe he's a dragoon and he jumped. I can't leave them. Step aside, Sir Maxwell. My lord, we must flee at once. But his grace. Roland. Lord Walford, there is no saving me. The future of Glenbrook lies in your hands now. Father. I don't know why, but the name, the, like the 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 name Glenbrook, doesn't doesn't like fill me with visions of a giant kingdom. It just whenever I hear the name Glenbrook, I think of a little town on a on a like a river, <laughs> with like a with like you know a windmill and a waterfall. Like, I don't think castles and walls and stuff when I hear Glenbrook. I think of, you know, little woodsy town on a, on a creek. Truly, you are lost. This land has long been lost, Regna. But it need be no longer. Okay. White home bridge. This is where Sir Maxwell would have us wait. Look at the sparkles on the water in the background. That looks really good. He is readying the boat for our escape as we speak. A wise decision. No doubt the river is our only hope of getting out of the city alive. The streets are overrun with as frosty soldiers. Our foe no doubt searches for us on the other side of this very gate. Then we wait here and pray for Sir Maxwell's swift return. Father, Freddy. See, I, I really like this art style. Like, this is, it looks very Octopath Traveler. If you've played Octopath Traveler, you understand the art style. It's meant to look like an old 16 bit RPG, which is amazing. What? No, I, I had no idea. Lies. It was your own brother that attacked the city. Huguette? Is that her name? Huguette? I would have stopped him. He's. I know not what's possessed him. My lady speaks the truth. 
We are a shell torn by this turn of events as you. Enough, Hewitt. We Hewitt. Be clawing at each other's Hewitt. The Hewitt. Army looking to hunt us down like dogs. My emotions got the better of me for a moment. Forgive me. Hewitt means no ill, my lady. Her fellow members of the King's Guard were slain before her eyes. For now, let us focus on the present. Prince Roland's safety and escape are our main concerns. Of course. So I wonder what the party size is going to be on this game. I know on Octopath Traveler, I think it was three. These are trying times, but we mustn't let emotions cloud our judgment. Okay, Percy. <laughs> he looks like Percy. Look at him. That is you Percy. From speaking the truth he looks just like like Talison's character from the first campaign of Critical Role. To what end? Gustadolf would frame Glenbrook for Lord Jurgan's murder and claim it as pretext for his invasion. If he knew we witnessed the truth, that music's really nice. Our heads would already the piano. Pipes. It would seem he still intends to put them there. Because you spat in the face of his demands. What we know could expose his claims as the treacherous lies that they are. That water in the background. Wow. The water looks so good. If it came to light that Gustadolf orchestrated his own cousin's murder, no one would dare stand by his side. And the 3D physics on the on the banners, like the banners are are 2D or like 16-bit sprite, but just the physics of them moving is really really nice. Indeed. However, words have little substance on their own, especially when weighed against the power and influence the Archduke commands. Your truth would be taken as the pathetic ramblings of a desperate man. Once again, your wisdom makes me feel the fool. No, we are all fumbling through these dark times. You spoke and acted as the Lord of House Wolfort, and did so admirably. And yet my actions have put everyone in danger. Father would have known better. Let us look forward, my lord, not back. There are truths yet cloaked in the shadows. We must survive and see them brought to light. For these truths shall be the weapons by which we lay Asfrost low. Asfrost. <laughs> Never going to be able to unhear Asfrost when they say the name of the town. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last one of us. I know you will, my lord. Let us await Sir Maxwell's arrival. So much dialogue, though, so far. The flow of the game comprises multiple phases. In between story scenes and battles, there will be an exploration phase. In this phase, you may move freely around areas, gather information, obtain items, review mechanisms, experience features that may serve you in battle. Uh, to end the exploration phase and progress with the story, press the L button. Okay. This mechanism will open the gate. Nothing up there. What do you got? Where we can keep the problem safe. It's kind of like this. Let's see. Let's say we need your blade. Let us fight together. There's only one thing we do. Conviction. Three major guiding convictions. Utility, morality, and liberty. Visible parameters influenced by your choices you make through the game. Oh, they're not going to show you 
what kind of convictions you're leaning towards. This seems like um kind of like you have good and evil kind of stuff in other games. Hmm. Okay. So that's going to influence who can join his party. Interesting. Oh, so I can't go any further back this way. Um, I don't want to talk to anyone else. Oh, something sparkled up there. Let's go up there. Large HP recovery pellet. Oh, nice. And you can spin the camera around. It's so pretty. That water, the water looks so good. Okay. Uh, objective, check on everyone. Okay, so I gotta talk to everybody. No, I already talked to you. I wanna talk to her. Who have I not talked to? Did I talk to? Yeah, I talked to you. I didn't talk to Benedict. Okay. Talk to her. Talk to him. Talk to this guy. Eridor. Right, I think I talked to everybody. I don't like how it just kind of fades out the bridge right here. Like, I think they should, they could do, they could have done that better in some way. But this is a, a, a like a, they call it a demo, but seeing how the game doesn't come out for a year, they can still change a whole lot of stuff. But yeah, that's something I'm not a fan of is the way the, the bridge just kind of phases out of existence right there. All right, so let's, um, uh... yes. Curses! Where's the boat? Uh-oh. Combat time, I think. Retinue puts their faith in Sir Maxwell has made arrangements for an escape boat. Select event. My prince. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. More dialogue. I've managed to procure a boat for our escape. It should arrive anon. It <laughs> should arrive anon. What is it with Square Enix and this this kind of stuff? They these people talk the same exact way in Final Fantasy XIV. Thank you, Sir Maxwell. Would that I could have done more. You did well to stand against Gustadolf. Your father would have been proud to see it. Just waiting for a character that starts talking like Orianger. <laughs> Let's save the pleasantries until we're through the gate, huh? Everyone ready? We are. Not really, open but the open gate the gate anyway. <laughs> Whatever you say, my lord. Here's hoping we can make it through without those bastards on the shore noticing. Over there! Oh, they noticed. Ooh. There's too many of them. So there's we eight of them? Two, four, six. Yeah, eight of them. Hopefully they're gonna give you some kind of a combat tutorial. There's nowhere to run. Damn it. They shut us in. Is this it? 
If this is where I fall, I'm taking these ass frosty bastards with me. Taking these frosty ass bastards with me, exactly. Don't be so quick to throw your life away, my prince. Yes, we haven't lost hope yet. The boat will arrive shortly. We only need fend them off until then. Can we do that? I fail to see why not. If you lend us your sword, that is. As if I would do aught else. <laughs> aught else? As if I would do aught else. Form around the prince. Protect him. The prince is on the bridge. Uh oh. They're going to come from both sides of us. They pour from the castle like rats. I shall defend the rear. All right, here we go. Battle. Two keys to victory are positioning and initiative. Attacks from up behind deal greater damage. Okay. All right, yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I've got nine people in my my team. Eight. Look at them. Yeah. Got an archer there. What's this guy? Shield bearer. These just look like regular guys. Nothing from behind us yet. Alright, so. Do I have any ranged, like, hmm. Just, she's a mage. She's a healer. A range DPS. <laughs> mm, mm. Melee. Melee. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, what are you? That's a tank. Provoke. Alright, so let's select him. Um, let's select the other guy. Where's the other? Right there. Full work. That sounds like a tanky ability. was my ranged person I'll still play her um, um, mm. <laughs> well, I mean honestly let's just deploy everybody <laughs> Select the square you wish the unit to occupy. That's not doing anything. Hmm. Alright, look, I want you to go here. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know. Press A when a nurse is above a unit to change its positioning. Well, that's what I'm attempting to do. But it's not doing anything. Oh, I gotta hit begin battle. Yes. Derp. <laughs> I did say I've never even looked up anything about this game, so I have no clue anything about it. The gate to the drawbridge is shut tight. We must find a way to open it and quickly. There should be a mechanism nearby. Yeah, it's that switch right behind that guy. Leave our pursuers to me. Open the gate, whatever it takes. Or the boat from this drawbridge. Make your escape. Defeat all surrounding foes to ensure safe passage. Open the gate right there. Oh, there's an archer up top too. I gotta remember that. All right. All right. Enemy firing range. When moving a friendly unit, some squares will be colored purple. This means it's the squares within enemy attack range. If an enemy is able to attack a friendly unit next turn, a red line connecting them will appear. Take care to move vulnerable units out of harm's way. My turn. Okay. So if I put you. No, let's keep you like here. Actually, you know what? Let's um. I wonder what secret weapon is. Do we want to move her up? She's a spy, so I don't know if I want to move her up or not. Let's leave her there. And we'll do this take cover. So, then she turns invisible. Whoosh! That's pretty cool. Alright. Um, no, I don't want to act again. Oh, can we do a range? No, iron dagger. Alright, we'll do end turn. Stand by. Oh, so it's going to say... Which way do you want her facing for the next turn? We'll face that direction. I won't lose. All right. So who I got now? Spear Knight. All right. So it's saying those three guys will be able to attack him next round. What if I'm right there? Right there. Oh, geez, I can even get like down there. <laughs> I can get up here. All right, you know what? I'm just going to go right there. And I'm going to double thrust that guy. This is it. Here I come. Face that way. Um... a scout so let's move her um you know what let's just leave her where she's at no we'll go over there okay uh okay there is no mercy Strategist. Let's move him there. And we're going to do full work on that guy. Ready for more. Okay. And face From where that shall we strike? You're soldiers. Let's move you up here to get ready to take on that guy. Put 
things that way. I shan't hold back. Let me heal your wounds. No, you don't have to heal yet. But we want to keep her in the back. You won't beat me. Let's move him up here. So, it falls to me. Scholar. Now let's move him over here. Wall of ice. I wonder if this is going to hit my own guy. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> oh, I guess that just blocks him in there? Okay, so that could be like a defensive thing. Let me show you what I've learned. Conjurer. Let's bring her over on this side. And, um... Raise an ally's fire resistant and grant them the ability to counter attack. Ooh. Let's use that on the shield guy. So that he can counter attack the two people in front of him. Bye. I'll keep on then. Okay. Yeah, face that. You're the spy, so let's move you. Um, we'll move you there. You're gonna really wank if you go there, though. Go there. Hmm. You know, what? let's just leave her where she's at for now. No, no, I don't want to move. Let's just leave her where she's at. Face in that direction. All right, you are going to attack this guy. Time okay. to take flight. Um Let's flank that guy. And we're going to do... Hit him. Okay. And then, yeah, stay facing against him. Uh-oh, from behind. Ouch! Not a chance. There is no mercy on okay, the I'm going to move him here. And we're going to do sword. No, I can't hit anyone with that. Let's use that on him. Because he's almost dead. I'm afraid this may hurt. Oh, you're dead. And then I'm going to face you guys. On my honor as the dawn spear. Uh oh, from behind. Oh my lord. Ouch. Forward. All right. Um, I'm gonna sneak around behind this guy. I'm gonna do that to him. Woo -hoo. That hurt. <laughs> oh, and I got him. That's nice. Okay, so let's face that direction. Uh-oh, now these guys are starting to show up. No. It's the prince. Save him. Quickly now, before more arrive. Okay, basics of loot. All enemies will drop loot. Move an ally to a panel containing a bag of loot to claim it. Loot will be added to your inventory after the battle if you triumph. Okay. Cool heads shall prevail. Alright, who are you? You're the physician. 
food. Anyone need like majorly healed? He could probably use one. I'm gonna move her there. Cure wounds on him. My utmost thanks. Okay. No. Yes, yeah, they face you in that direction. You are gonna go here. And you're gonna hit him. Hurts, don't it? I struck true. And face that way, I think. Spy. Alright, let's that's my guy, right? Let's get her. Let's have her pick up the loot. <laughs> um, take cover. And we're gonna have her face. That way. Now then, to work. Alright, so let's just move him into the middle ish. And hmm. Let's well, we'll do that. Let's just use the ice damage. I have dice damage. And I'm, yeah, okay, I can switch the move around. Let's go here. And then ice on him. Huh. Oh, he just runs up and smacks him with his book. Okay. Wasn't expecting that one. Alright, I'm gonna just get him into the middle of everything. Stuff. Um, let's get her here, and we're gonna use winding arrow on him. Okay, face that. Allow me. Uh, let's get her. Move into the middle. And she's gonna do So I wonder how I get the two for that. Alright, I'm just gonna end her there, I think, and face that way. Oh no. Ouch. Ooh, that hurts. She may die. She's dead. Ooh, wow. They got wrecked. <laughs> Ouch, jeez. Alright, um... Let's go here. Sword that guy. Face that. I shall protect you. There. <laughs> Just as I planned. I? Right, he's blind, so. Oh, he's blind and he still is able to hit me? That's not right. Um, let's go here. And we're gonna play strike on him. He's dead. I struck true. My okay. knowledge grows deeper. Um, let's face those guys just in case. 
Ooh, that hurt. Your Highness. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Um. Hmm. Let's move her back there. Victory. All right, let's get around behind this guy and double thrust him. Yes. Shall we begin? Uh, position. Does she have any kind of a raise or anything? Haste, circle of healing. So does anyone need cured? Got two people dead, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that right now. Mm. <laughs> All right, yeah, I can heal her. Okay, I'm just gonna stay where I am. I'm gonna cure. Her. You have my gratitude. And let's pull back to there <clears throat> and face that way. Come at me. Let's get him over here. Let's flank that guy. And he's gonna roll no hit shield the guy. Face that way. Alright, they got him. They got him pinched. Ooh, not anymore. Nice, okay. Oh, no. Oh, in the back. Wow. Exploiting weaknesses. When choosing an action, an icon will appear over any enemies that are particularly susceptible to it. Attacks from behind are guaranteed to score a critical hit. If an ally is positioned behind an enemy unit straight with a physical attack, they'll automatically follow up with an attack of their own. Okay. There is no mercy um, let's try to get rid of this archer. Let's try to go there. He doesn't really have any good attacks, though. He's kind of weak. Alright, uh, let's just go... Let's leave him where he is. No, 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 I don't want to go there. Let's leave him where he is and cast that on him. I shall do my best. And then I'm gonna move him over here. And face that way. At this rate, I Who do we want to take? Let's get him. And then I'm gonna move her away. There, face that way. From where shall we strike? Well met. Oh, you're dead. And that way. Oh, let's sneak her around this way. And she is going to dagger that guy in the back. Victory this is in bout is mine. Sounds good. Well met. Just as I planned. For life. Face that way. Okay. Now oh, the archer. I gotta get rid of that guy. Ooh, all right. 
Really get him, need to get him some heals. Oh man, that hurt. For my kingdom. Come on, he's blind. How's he hitting me? It's not fair. On my honor as the dawn speed. We will. I shall okay. do it. Position. I need to heal the guy up there. So let's move her up. Here. Oh, she can't reach him. Oh, no. I can't get to him. Hmm. How's everyone else? Everyone else seems alright. I know she took a whack. Alright, let's heal her. There, face that way. I've been waiting for this. Let's get rid of that archer. Or let's do that. Keep him on them off of him. I see way. a path to victory. Um, let's go there. Him. We'll get him yet. Yes. Okay. Let's just pick up that. And then nothing. Face that way. Case For the honor of House Let's move you up. Let me show you what I've learned. All right, let's move you up. There. Okay, let's. Can I get them if I move here? No. Wow, I'm so close to being able to hit those guys and I just can't get within range of them. I need to get this. Archer's dead. Alright, you. Let's take out. Let's take out him. And we're gonna move here. Face that way. On my honor as the dawn speed. Triple thrust? Nice. There See, I, I'm not controlling him. The, the computer's tr controlling him. Um, let's get behind him. Need the sword to that guy. You were overconfident. We're gonna aim that way. Let's go here. Stab him. Allow me. Stab him again. Face that way. Let me heal your wounds. All right, let's get her to move here. Can she reach? Yeah, she can. Heal him. Sorry to worry you. Okay. Now let's face that. I've been waiting for this. Let's move you here and open the gate. It's open. Go. All right. Don't let them escape. Capture the royal family. Kill any others who stand in your way. For 
protect the prince. Yeah, that's just what we're doing. No matter how many come, our blades will keep them at bay. They've overrun the bridge already. Very well. We cut our way through. Quietuses? <laughs> What's quietuses? Do not use up a turn. It can be triggered instantaneously. A single quietus can be used only once in a given battle. Okay. Um... Face that way. Oh, in the back. Ouchies. Defeat is not an option. All right, are we gonna get through the gate? I won't lose. Oh, wow. Allow me. Um Can I hit the guy from here? Nope, I can't reach him. What if I get Can I reach him if I get here? Um, well, in that case, let's just try to get through the gate. And... Um, does any of these guys need healed? He does, but I don't think I can get to him. Alright, let's just stop there. I shall protect you. Ooh, that guy got wrecked. We must tread carefully. is within reach. Uh, do I wake him up? <laughs> Hitting him again? Mm. No, let's leave him asleep. Face that I way. See a path to victory. Um... Give him some defense. He's gonna need it. <laughs> I shall do my best for victory. Let's sneak around behind this guy. Double thrust him. Yeah. Did you see that? Yes. Let's face that way. From where shall we strike? Through the gate. Oh, I'm so close to being able to use it on somebody. All right, let's uh, let's just stop there and face that way. We mustn't lose heart. Okay, I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna cure myself. Knowledge is strength. Ooh, she learned Circle of Healing. What's that do? You won't beat me! Let's get him there. Time to die! Leave it to me! Alright, excellent. Okay. You can face that way, yeah. Oh, jeez. So I think we have to clear the bridge, so there can't be any guys on the bridge for this. Just as I 
Oops, no, I don't want to do that. I want to stay right where I am. And no, go back to where you were. Right there. Thank you. Do that to get stamp. This is the end. And then we can start headed out of here. That way. Not even worried about the loot. I <laughs> just want to try to get everyone onto the bridge. I cannot lose. Safe right there. Scorch. Oh, does that mean it's going to hit me too? Mm. Let's try it, I guess. Okay, it doesn't hit my own guys. That's good. Right, let's move him up or up behind him. Face that way. I shall try my level best. You are going to come behind him, and you're going to cane sword him in the back. Now, that seems to work. Face that. I way. won't lose. You. Let's try to get rid of that guy. Double thrust him. My stratagem is superior. All right. I grow ever stronger. Push back. I see the threads of battle more clearly. Learned now. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Forward. All right. Let's move him up. Oh, still so close. All right, we'll end his turn there. Face that way. I shall do what I can. Right, let's try to get her out of here so she's not going to attack by that guy. How is everyone else in this circle here? Yeah, okay, so I want to move there. And I'll use this. Because they could both use healing. Sorry to worry. There we go. And then face the archer, just in case. Alright. We want to get him up in the middle of everyone. And... Ram him. <laughs> face that I was prepared for this. Alright, she needs to get up there. Face that way. On my honor as the dawn spear, let us try out their weakness. Move an ally's turn to directly after your own. Oh, that's nice. Uh, do I want to do it though? No. Let's instead give him some defense. And face that way. Oh, he's going to backstab me. Oh. Ouchies. Let me show you okay. what I've learned. Let's move her up. Scorch. That guy. Oof, that did some damage. Blazing chains. I don't know what it does, but it sounds cool. Alright, let's get him behind that. For my kith and kin. Okay. Face that direction. Don't kill her. I, no. Oof, so close. We must tread right, carefully. Uh, let's try to get up here. Face that way. On my honor as the dawn spear. They're good. Let's finally get her through the door. And she can cure herself. <laughs> Face 
that way. You won't beat me. Let's get him around behind that guy. And let's just shield slam him. Come on! Gotcha! I shall try my level best. Get him here. Um, yeah. Let him slam him again. I've been waiting for this. Oh, let's do this. We'll provoke him, which will make him turn around on his next turn, which will give everyone else a shot in the back. Or, let's see, the guy on the horse... Should be able to get behind him on the next turn. Oh, so close. All right, you can get you can get beside him though. That's that that'll work too. Um, let's just do that to him. This is it. Face that way. He can get behind him. There we go. And he's gonna do the big hit. There you go. Ooh, you're dead. Yes. Yes, it's very, very much like tactics. Very much. What's kudos obtain? Performance backstabs. Okay, it's just extra points for doing like bonus stuff in the in the combat. All right, that's cool. Yes, very, very Final Fantasy tactics like the combat was. The boat arrives. Come with speed. Now, what I have to wonder now is what happens to the two people that died during that fight? Can I raise them? Are they dead for good? Leave your brother unavenged. Leave this place. A Vlora. You will be content with your father's head. Never. S. Ross will answer for its crimes today. Your Highness. A shame. You might have lived a long life. So long as I stand, you'll do him no harm. Sir Maxwell. My prince. You are responsible for more than just your own life now. So I think he's going to stay behind and distract while we escape. You are a leader and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. Oh, he just punched My him in the gut. House Warfort, <laughs> I leave Prince Roland in your care. Let me go. Release him to me and there may be mercy for you yet, Maxwell. Oh, that looks cool. Very 3D. Tis you who should be seeking mercy. Must you do this? Very well. <laughs> oh, jeez. She has a very large sword. And, oh, the boat. Boat physics are really cool. Very, very 3D and cool looking. Oh no. You were only toying with me at the tourney. Only a fool shows what they can do when the stakes are so trifling. I could not have said it better myself. Uh oh, he's gonna whip out something massive. Pun not intended. <laughs> Oh, what's he? Oh, he's like a dragoon. Oh, nuclear spear drop. <laughs> I don't even know what he calls that move. One shot at all the noobs, though. How 
How do you still stand? You were this realm's fiercest warrior, Dawn Spear. But today your sun sets, and a new age begins. Oh, am I gonna have to fight her? Whoa. She's like a dark knight. <laughs> that was kind of a pretty cool looking move. Oh, he's gone. Into the water. He lived. I guarantee he comes back later in the game. Or maybe not. <laughs> or not. So I wonder if the red means that I, I can't enter that area now. The proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Esfrost seized control of the crown city, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Walford's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. Chapter 7. White Home Castle. Can I zoom out? Nope, you can zoom in, zoom. Alright, that's as far as I was. You can zoom. Your most honorable siblings, Lord Thalas and Lady Erica, have arrived, my lord. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. <laughs> she sounds really stuck up. <laughs> if there is anything else that you require, anything at all, you need but say the word. In that case, I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. But of course, milady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. Ever eager to please, isn't he? Look at the, the way the, the suits of armor, the sides of the room, how the helmets, like, shine. It's really cool. I believe the word you're looking for is sycophant. Congratulations on bringing Glenbrook to its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty, what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls? Of course. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Tellior trembles in his seat within the stronghold, and Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. How easily the three great houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Wolford is the last to hold out, but if Laura will deal with them. Oh, the Dark Knight. Will be in our hands before long. <sighs> Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. Oh, look how he spelled jail. The old school way. What is it? It's Square Enix. I don't know. They... they... They spelled jail the same way in Final Fantasy XI, I believe. They spelled this way in Final Fantasy XIV. And now they spelled in this game. Yeah, they definitely yeah, they definitely spelled it this way in Final Fantasy XI because the GM jail uh, that, you, that you got sent to like as a player if you like broke the rules or something was called like Mordian Jail, spelled like that. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. That is precisely what I would have her be. Whatever do you Dun, mean? dun, dun. <laughs> Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. 
A few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. Ha 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 Subjects of Glenbrook, I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfros. Hooray! Hear my words. <laughs> the crowd's like, yay. <laughs> Regna has committed against us, <laughs> and against you, his own people, are grievous indeed. <sighs> They're just going to lop his head off right there on the balcony? The end of the war. In the years since, we have all done what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzillian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. And when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations, became aware of this plot, King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. Hmm, or if it's true. In doing so, he betrayed... Maybe that happens earlier in the game. ...and the holy state of Heizant. But you as well. The very people... Who were to share in the wealth. All right. I, I, another problem I run into with games like this, the spoken dialogue takes longer than I can read it. <laughs> and sometimes it annoys me. But and so I'm probably not alone in that. No choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery by force. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder. And this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. What say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> <sighs> I do not. Oh, so he did do it? But I beg of you, spare my children. Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. The punishment for these crimes is death. Off with his head. Off with his head. <laughs> How did I know that was coming? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> right there. Game of Thrones, right on the balcony. <laughs> Cordelia. The future of our kingdom. Right on the balcony, right in front of his kids. Full on Game of Thrones. Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. With the king perishes an all too short lived era of peace. And in its place, Game of Thrones. One of bloodshed and turmoil. Okay, Wolfer Demes Demesny, having made their escape by boat, Cyrano and his retinue finally make their way back to the house of Wolfer Demesny. What the hell is a Demesny? Can't they just say castle? <laughs> but what awaits them there? Ooh, what's over there? What's this? Citadel of the Sands. 
news of Glenbrook's fall reaches the citadel of the sands in the far off holy state of Isant, where a great battle of the salt iron war was fought so many years ago. Oh, and there's something over here. Silvio Tellior, head of one of Glenbrook's three high houses, houses ponders what the future holds. For his demesne. All right, well, what is it? I don't know. I don't know what a demesne is. Township, maybe? Another name for a township or county? I don't know. So, is that all the three? Let's do the dude receiving the news of his liege's grim fate. I don't think there's going to be any combat in these. They all look like maybe just story, like story cutscene type things. Let's see. The fire looks really good. House Fox has failed you. I have failed you. Yeah, the fire on the torches looks so good. When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? But no, cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives. Yeah, okay, so it's just like a story thing. Just a little cutscene to further the story, I guess. That's what it seems like. Alright, let's get this one next. Whatever is House Tellior to do, with King Regna gone, we must find a way to preserve ourselves. I love, I l absolutely love this art style. We'll no doubt fight to the bitter end, but House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. I liked it in Octopath Traveler too, I just love the art style. <sighs> Yet if House Wolford were to fight at their side... They say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? The Wolforts may choose to ransom the prince to Esfrost. Mm, no, I don't think they'll do that. Domain. domain. That's how you... Domain? Okay. Must be French. Comes to that, Esfros will either kill the prince and princess, or use them as their pawns, and Glenbrook will fall. Bending the knee to Esfros may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. Yeah, he looks like a weasel. Look at that mustache. He's a weasel. I can tell just by looking at him. Right now, let's go do the Isan. Minister Sorcelay, what is it this time, Booker? We just received word that S. Frost <laughs> yeah, some of the voices, man. Glenbrook. Wow. Home burns as we speak. What's this? The crown city has fallen. King Regna was beheaded, and it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Wolfort with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what did the others think of the manor? At any rate. I must speak with His Holiness at once. 
Minister, Pope? If I may assuage you, I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to House End's benefit. Our benefit, you say? Indeed. Hmm. Indeed. So we got two, two that are going to plot against it while it's happening. And one that's like, oh, they killed my king. I'm going to back him up. <laughs> my dear Booker, whatever would House End do without you? Send a raven to his holiness. Tell him that his faithful servant, Sorsley, would humbly beg an audience. At once, master. Okay. All right, so now we catch up with the main guys and see if the people that died during that fight on the bridge come back to life or not, or if they're just gone out of the game. I don't think it would make sense to have them permanently gone from the game. Like, what would you do to replace them if you're playing and they die? Lord they're not there, though, so oh, thank the heavens maybe they do die permanently. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. <laughs> Not really. Benedict, <laughs> there is news. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Your Highness, my Lord, pray try to remain calm. His Grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. Bells. Father. No. Say it is not so. Roland. I can only imagine what you're feeling now. But I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed, we must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel about Lord Simone. Looks like Simon to me, but... Huh? What is it? Has something befallen Father? See, that guy there, that, that voice actor for him, it just it sounds like he's got the script right in front of him. And he's just reading it off the script. Like, it's... That's just what that sounds like. What is it? Has someone... Has something befallen Father? Like, he's just reading it off of a paper. Well, I'm not saying I could do any better, but... To me, that's just what that sounds like. Like, he's just reading the script. Like, right there as he's recording the dialogue. Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City. And has not opened his eyes since. You must be mad. The man was stronger than an ox. We cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Still looks like Simon to me. But <laughs> Maybe it's another French thing. Maybe a lot of the names are based on French. I don't be know. Be strong, father. This realm still needs you. I still need you. Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can, but none can say. Very well. Do not give up hope, Sarah Noah. The flames on the Melody torches look so good. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow Father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. 
I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell Oops. returned with this. Oh, what is he? What did he find? Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Maybe he did live. Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell. You too abandoned me now? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. At Gustadolf's command, Esfrost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Their aim, to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. Okay. So that's shown where the army is at. What's that up there? What's this? Okay, so that's ass for us. <laughs> okay, so another crisis looms. My lord, the Esfrosti army advances on us as we speak. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to them at once. Hmm, yeah, we saw that coming. We've not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Ablora herself heads the vanguard. Gustadolf's not taken any chances. The scheming bastard. <sighs> Summon the war council at once. We must take swift action. Oh man, that that ugh, it's just cringy. His, his dialogue is cringy. The way he's reading, the way he's performing the dialogue just is cringy. That's all that's the the best description of it I can get. Every time you hear him speak, it's just like ugh, God, ugh. Someone else could have done so much better with that. It just—it literally sounds like he's got the you script right in front of him, and he's just reading the lines off. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly: Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Esfrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping his highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or heaven, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. You see, your highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough. 
I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Wool Fort domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. Oh, um, hmm. You would have me render a decision. The more I ponder, the more the answer escapes me. There is a case to be made for either. Um, so I'm going to say you would have me render a decision here and now. You would have me render a decision here and now? As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. Okay. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. Uh, see? Cringy. It's cringy. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. Like, basically, isn't it going to be something like, hey, hand me over, game over? So, is that really even an option to, to say, okay, turn him in? Wouldn't that just end the game right then and there? I don't know. Um, as the for us, the army continues. Uh, let me discuss the best path forward. Is there anything else to look at? Look, they're not even getting close. They're still in the same place. We've got time. I just, I'm interested to see what happens to the two guys that died during the fight on the bridge. Can I raise them? Do they come back? Are they dead permanently? I just, I really want to know. I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go. I'm just, I'm interested to know, uh, is death in the game permanent or not? Like, is there going to be enough characters to recruit that if you have people die, you can replace them? I would hear the wisdom of my people. <laughs> so I'm going to have a exploration phase, I guess. Investigate some more than return when I have knowledge that may sway minds. Okay, voting. The path of the story will be determined by the consensus of your party as played out through voting scenes. Convictions. As the player, you may cast a single vote, but you will be bound to the decision of the majority. Wow, that's new. I've never seen that in a video game before. Hmm, okay. This is an interesting mechanic. I've never seen anything like this in video games before. So this is kind of cool. Um... Boundaries. You learned about... Okay, I learned about the secret weapon. Large leaps of thinking. Who knows? I wonder if any of the houses are going to actually have anything in them. Like there's something sparkling there. Ooh, $100. Whatever it's called. 
What is the money called in this? Um, uh, does it say what the name of the money is? No, not really. It's just up there in the corner. It doesn't say what it's called. Oh, the footsteps when you walk through the water. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright. I went in that house up there already. Let's go down here. What about you? He delivered alive. I wager they have no plans of executing him, at least. At least not anytime soon. So basically what he could say is they're not going to execute him right away, so that would give them time to mount a rescue if they do turn him over. That was up there already. Talk to you already. Let's go in this house. Dawn Spear. We might see another day. So now they're saying that yes, Maxwell sacrificed himself so we could get the pr the prince off the bridge. So why turn him over? everybody hmm so right now the vote is four to two in favor of handing him it over handing him over so I'm pretty sure I talked to everyone yeah all right Let's return and see what what happens. Okay, let's talk to you. Oh no, I'm not headed into the town. I was already there. Let's persuade. Let's talk Hi. first. So which one is she? Is she stave off and protect, or is she the other one? Um, so the only one that's undecided is him. Hi, lad. So let's persuade him. So what should we be persuading them? Hmm. I don't know. I would say if they're not going to execute him, they want him alive for a reason. Probably to do some show of, you know, abdicating power or something. So they're not going to execute him right away. Maybe we should do something like that, and then then we have a chance to go rescue him. That's what I would say. Aye, but consider this. Hmm. Oh, something's locked. Uh, we owe it to him to protect the people. Hmm. Uh, what would I say? 
I'm gonna say, do you believe we could beat her in her army? I hadn't considered that. It's no easy thing. Well, he was moved by my words, but I don't know where he put it. All right, he's one of the handovers. Lord Serenella. Okay. Um. I. I guess we'll just leave everyone where they are. Hmm. Noah. All right, let's see. I. No wait, I want to. I want to persuade. Okay, so she's one of the ones with the stave it off and whatever. So let's see what she says if I try this. Oh, so I unlocked this last one. Is that so? Yet. She's indifferent to my plea. Oh, now she's undecided. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's persuade. No, let's not persuade her. What about you? I... Say, um, can't force people to lay down their lives. That then, good point. She's deep in thought. All right, I think that's all I can really do. So let's uh, commence the vote. Yes. Okay. Let's see what happens. It is time to. Cast Still strange. Cast. I've never seen a mechanic like this in a in a video game that I can. That I've played. It may, it may have been in some game somewhere, but if it was, I never played it. Oh no! What do I say? I'm gonna say. Well, I was trying to persuade people of that one, so I guess that's what I should say. Approach the scales of conviction. All right, let's see how people vote. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. won me over the scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen and the winner is ooh everyone but her Okay. That is a very, very interesting mechanic. The way forward is decided.
So be it. The decision is made. This is the path we walk. Was there truly no other way? Roland, say no more. Thank you for sheltering me, my friend. Oh, now he's going to make me feel like an the ass. The you have made is wise <laughs> and just. Go forward with your heads high. Roland left the party. But what happens to the two people that died on the bridge? I really want to know. House Wolfort surrenders their charge, Prince Roland, at Gustadolf's behest, sparing themselves from the Duchy's wrath. House Telior surrenders their land, also buying their reprieve. Lord Silvio bends the knee, declaring absolute devotion to their as frosty masters. Mm hmm. I knew he was going to do that. House Falks surrenders nothing, the last of the high houses to remain loyal to their fallen king. News of their countrymen's capitulation shocks Lord Landroy, leaving him with a grave choice to make. Okay, what's that mean? Nameless Village. Shamaness. With the power to harness the elements, wonders blend with shamans and bring succor to those suffering from drought and famine. Anything over here? All right, let's go see what she says. No, 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 get off of there. Thank you. Let's go there. The sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? If she sticks around much longer, my fields are apt to wither from the attention. I'd give my firstborn for a drop of rain. I and it ain't just the crops water worse for wear. I'd cry over a lot, but not but dust would pour from my eyes. <laughs> okay. How pitiless the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer so? I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy. Then I shall. You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold, as I flood this desiccated land with nourishment. Huh? Huh? <laughs> What's that the lady said? I believe she means to pull rain from a cloudless sky. Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from a bull. Well, you must tell me if you do. We were in sore need of a miracle. A pleasure is always to see you, my lord. You've come just in time. This lass is about to put on a show. I am called Dizana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain, that your people may see a measure of succor. Okay, the the voice acting started out okay. There were some good ones early. And it just seems like the further and further I get in the demo, the worse it's getting. <laughs> Banish the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of taking orders. That's pretty cool. Well, slap my ass like I was just born. Oh my rain. god, really? Oh, the goodness, rain. <laughs> oh my god. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> wow. How did... Oh man. I, I've never witnessed a miracle like this. Uh. Izana, was it? On behalf of my people, allow me to express to you my deepest gratitude. There is no need for such formalities. 
I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any way I can. If it is not too bold of me to ask, do you have need of a humble shaman within your ranks? It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have reached even my remote village. We would welcome you with open arms, and the honor would be entirely ours. Doubtless we will have occasion to call upon your talents sooner rather than later. Okay. <laughs> I hate to keep harping on it, but I want to know what happens to the people that died. Okay, she joined our cause. Her skills will serve you well. Her prayers can alter the weather. Summon lightning that will travel through water. Okay. Fortify or forfeited to the Esferasi army, the captives are killed. The other faces are reboosted all and now sits upon his father's throne. Now, in fairness, I only surrendered because I figured, hey, we'll surrender him, they'll put him in prison, we can go rescue him. That was the plan. <laughs> I've brought the prince, your grace. Ustadol, you traitorous bastard! That's probably not a good way to start that conversation, buddy. You'll pay for what you've done to my family! Mark my words! Easy there, Ablora. We need him alive, after all. I'm sworn to do all in my power to keep you from harm, Your Excellency. The boy is overcome with emotion. And who could blame him? Perhaps this will quell his rage a bit. His sister? Yep. Cordelia! Brother! Let him go! <sighs> Indulge her, Avlora. Oh, brother! Thank the heavens you're safe! They didn't hurt you, did they? I'm fine. I... I thought I'd never see you again. Let us speak after. Surely the Archduke will afford us that small mercy. Yes. Later, then. Prince Roland, you are well aware of the position Glenbrook finds itself in, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Your kingdom is ours. House Tellior and House Wolfort have both bent the knee. Among the three high houses, only House Folks still proves recalcitrant you mean for me to convince lord landroy to submit oh nothing so tedious as that i want you to order his death hmm? i'm certain house wolford would be more than happy to oblige you're mad i won't be a mouthpiece to your cruelty i know you've only just come into your responsibility so allow me to offer a word of advice a prince's first thought should ever be of his people. What are you saying? Landroy will not stand idly by for long. When he acts, an act he will, this land will once again be consumed by the fires of war. It is your duty. The candelabras look really cool. I like those. It is yet kindling. Lest you rule over a kingdom of corpses when all is done. <sighs> you see that I am right, your highness. Give the order. I like how they give dialogue to the, you know, the, the, the very traditional dot, 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 dots in Final Fantasy type games. Where you just take that as a, like a silence, but they're like, mm, for the dot, dot, dots. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> See, it, when you'd play like old school Final Fantasy games, you would figure the dots were just, you know, silence. Like he's silently just standing there. Not going. Mm. 
Okay, a missive arrives from the White Oak Castle to the Fallen House Wolford. Message it bears appear to, appears unlike bleh. It bears unlike to be a happy one. Jesus, the language. This reminds me of something that um, I can't remember who who it was said it about the original Star Wars, or it might have been Lord of the Rings. I can't remember, but I remember seeing it in a, like a behind the scenes interview once. It's like you can write this dialogue, but you can't speak it. <laughs> Are you off to battle again? Aye, by the royal family's decree. And I have need of able-bodied men. Return victorious, my lord. Worry not, we shall. <laughs> okay, I want to know. Everyone else has, like, normal American accents. Like, no one has an accent. And then you got the kid. Like, even the woman, I'm assuming the woman side is, is his mother. And then everyone's, like, speaking, like, normal. Like, not, you know, like, American. And he's like, return for battle, my lord. <laughs> Where's he get that accent from? No one around him has it. <laughs> Why, if it isn't the young lord Wolfort? Mm. Mr. Patriarch, I had not heard that you were paying visit to our domain. Ah, lord Wolfort, pray do not concern yourself on my account. My work here is all but done, and it is time I was on my way. I must commend you, my lord, for keeping order and harmony in your domain, despite the rather unfortunate recent events. Most admirable indeed. Look at that mustache. He's a rat, too. Our duty is to the throne, not to the man who sits in it. In times of uncertainty, we must value order above all else. I would encourage. Yes, I can see the merit in that. Thank you for your wisdom. Yes, I can see the merit in that. <laughs> Heed it well, and mm. I have no doubt many years of prosperity await you. I almost you wish there was an option to just turn off the spoken dialogue as a matter of fact let me check and see if there is once i get out of this cutscene once i get to another part where i can pull up the menu i guess you could just turn the voice volume all the way down and just play it as like a you know a a red a red you know dialogue that you read yourself instead of listening to the, being voice acted which is something i would probably do let me see. System. Options. Volume settings. So yeah, you can turn the voice all the way down. Which, let's try it. Just to see how it is. Let's completely mute the voice. And we'll turn the music up just a touch. To, to, to compensate. So we'll put the music there. Sound effects up. Alright, now... Yes. Let's see how it is with no spoken dialogue. We'll just play it as a, hey, we read the dialogue like an old school Final Fantasy game where you don't you don't have uh, voice acting. It's just, you know, you read the dialogue yourself. We'll see if it's better. Oh, so her brother's the Archduke? I didn't remember that.
okay? So they're playing along with them, but they're going to try to undermine them from behind the scenes, it looks like. See, now to me, it was better without the voice, the voice dialogue. <laughs> For me personally, as a player, I liked it better when I was doing the dialogue in my head myself. Like the voice acting is, like I said, it started out really, ha you know, decent. And then as it got further along, it just started getting worse and worse and worse. What time is it? 10 after 10. We'll do maybe one more cutscene, and then I think I'm going to. I'm going to call it for the night. Oh, I like the fountain. The fountain is really cool. Oh my god, did you catch it? You must use your head more often. The one on your shoulders. <laughs> wow. That was some good adult humor tossed in there. Anything else to do? No. Nope. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there for the night. Interesting game. Uh, it does feel... The, the combat feels very Final Fantasy Tactics. There is so... And I'm, I'm sure it's probably because you're thrown right in the middle of the story. Like, I'm sure there's more lead up to it. And there's more combat at the beginning of the game to get you used to it. And then it becomes more story driven, like, from this point forward. Once you've gotten your the basics of the combat and stuff down. So I'm sure that's why it seems like there's so much dialogue and so little fighting. But a couple things I would love to know is what happens to your fallen party members? Are they brought back eventually? Is there a way to raise them? Are they dead permanently? You know, is there enough characters to recruit to replace them if they die? Are they gone for good? That's something I would really like to know. Um, the voice acting started out okay and then got horrible horrible to where i was i would if if i purchase the game when it releases i will probably just turn the dialogue off to be honest it was it was not that great that not that well done now the game is like still over a year out so they could redo it but i really doubt they're gonna redo dialogue and actors and all that kind of stuff so yeah that was um Project Triangle, what's it called again? Project, Project Triangle Strategy? Yeah, that's like the, its um, working name. I'm sure it'll be called something completely different than that. Uh, but yeah, it, if you like Final Fantasy Tactics and you have a Switch, I would definitely download it, give it a try. It's pretty good. And uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you can, hit that follow button. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next stream. Have a good night.